Come check out this Ford. I know you don't like Fords. Okay. Oh yeah, see, you like it. You like it. Still not that bad, is it? Pretty nice truck, I think. Um, yeah. You know, I should really take it to town and wash it. I think I have time. That's what I'm gonna do. Just look at this. I wouldn't say I got a smoking deal on this truck, but it's complete. You want that rusty? Really like the main part with these things. Those are always terrible on these trucks. It is solid as could be. Like, I actually don't see any any holes where the steak puck is on up. Wow, that's actually really good. I am going to take that to town and wash that out. Okay, yeah, new plan. Well, I gotta get this loaded. I just, there's just enough kind of daylight ish to load this up. And a quick little video. So, first classic Ford? Is it my first classic Ford? It might be. It might be. It's a nice one. Well, I can't record anymore. So. I'm gonna load her up and head her for the car wash. I'll take a video on the car wash probably. <laughs>
Well, gonna make a run. Wow, that's a really nice truck. The color's really growing on me. Really growing on me. So, picked up this F-250 today. See if it'll run. Paul randomly had the carb it needed just sitting on the shelf in the garage. Never ever owned one of these trucks in his life, but he had a carburetor for one. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I uh, slipped that on. I got to do a little bit to make that fit there, but the gasket was there and the nuts were there. I grabbed a jerry can, clicky clack pump, and battery from the last revival. Uh, see if it'll fire. Got some WD-40 there, and... <laughs> wow. I mean, different day. Let's try the starter again. Maybe it fixed itself. <laughs> That's why I took to the tow truck and why I got that brake on seat. This is the starter. <laughs> Good old tow truck. It's definitely. This will be the fourth one we've done this way, I think. <laughs> Four starters. 69, 68, and the 61.
Never mind, it died. off my connection.
Yep. Oh, well, that started out. Have to get Michelle to come and pull me again. Shoot, but we drank that whole dairy can of gas. So, that tells me it's definitely a power valve issue. She's just chugging fuel. Well, great. thing on the gooseneck. Like a glove. Well, I'm hauling the Ford home. Now we know it runs. It's worth spending money on a starter for it. Rebuilding the carburetor. And maybe even putting shocks in it. Got the brakes working even. Runs like garbage right now, but pretty sure it's a power valve. Carburetor needs a new power valve. I think it's just overfueling. I ran it for maybe five minutes and it dumped like yeah, two and a half gallons of fuel. We're gonna miss the ramp. <laughs> My pretty new truck came home today, <laughs> and it's my truck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was convincing. <laughs> of course, it's yours. <sighs> well, it was a successful day today. Got the F two fifty home. In the garage. Oh. It uh, 
She's running. Needs a starter. And a carb rebuild. Runs terrible. Just chooch and smoke. I believe the throttle valve is just giving her all of it. <clears throat> so. but yeah, it's a pretty nice truck. Looking at it like, here, let's have a look. I'm gonna change these mirrors. Just put small Junior West Coasts on. I have some chrome ones in the basement. They're actually Ford mirrors I randomly had for a couple of years. But like, just look at this truck. It's pretty nice. <clears throat> for these parts, this is pretty incredible. Even the windshield's good. The floors are like the cab, it's beautiful. Yeah, like headliners all there. Yeah. It's a nice track. Seat's super comfy. A little torn, just needs a seat cover, but. Look at them doors. That's that's latched. Like beauty. And the windows work real nice. Oh, I never tried the vent window yet. Oh, that hasn't been open in a long time. Oh, but it works good now. Look at that goofy key. Ah, little satchel. Oh, oh, nice. The locks even work. Yeah, I never lubed. I never did anything. Really. To this truck, I just washed it. But yeah, I got like full on brakes today. Like actual legit brakes. Front and rear. Like it never, yeah. Need the set of tires, I guess. Yeah. Some shocks. I think it just needs a carb rebuild. Um, and the motor will be good. The oils, like. I think it's really clean. Yeah, it's pretty clean oil. Is that? Oh. Oh, there, here in frame now. Look at the very bottom though. That looks milky to me. I better change that. That looks like water in the oil. Which I wouldn't doubt because the carburetor was off of it when I bought it. I have no idea how long the carb was off this truck. So, it's, I'm not surprised that there would be water inside of it. Not at all. So Let's see what the oil looks like. Might be watering. I don't think it'll be like a crazy amount of water. Oh, look at the water. There is water in it. Oh. 
straight water. That's like clean water. Hmm. Well, that's not good. See, I thought I saw a little, a little bit of weight on that dipstick. Bunch of gas too. You want to try it? Sure. Okay. New starters in. Old ones. Old ones there. But this carburetor, I screwed up. I never had this vacuum line. Oh, can you? Mm -hmm. Never had this vacuum line hooked up it's right on the power valve normally i guess like the older ones had a vacuum took vacuum from inside this one you got to feed its own vacuum from manifold directly to the power valve so that might have explained some of the problems maybe it'll actually run all right Actually, like I thought this we would be like dying already. It's not even that bad. So it's coming around. 
Machine. There's something funky going on still. It might just be fouled plugs from the bad power level. Mm. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's definitely not running on all of them, but maybe it's just fouled spark plugs. Not bad, I don't know. Could it be? Do you want to start it again? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Ten and a half percent chance this will actually spin. <laughs> Fords never ever wanna turn. Generally they like coolant down right onto the distributor and like seize it right to the motor. Thanks, Amy. Fun. I don't know, it's been a good truck for us so far. Well, we're going to say the timing is perfect, <laughs> which is probably it. That's terrible. Oh, well. I guess we'll try and free that up. The only thing I've ever had distributors frozen on. Ferds. Oh, it just moved. Holy shnikes. Okay, well, I just advanced it a bit there, so do you want to try it again? Okay, try it again.
They like that. Still running crappy, but better than it was. Mm-hmm. It's not popping out of as many cylinders now. So I think no, it's only one or two pops now. There's no but, fire. Yeah, and it's not kicking fire out the carbon anymore. It's always a good sign. That's, that's usually a good thing. I wonder if I can still... Okay, should I start it again? Pretty please. Huh, I didn't even, okay. vacuum port on here that's the ported vacuum and right now I have I have the power valve hooked to manifold vacuum which I don't think it's supposed to be because so that would be activating it at idle you're supposed to say yeah sure sure <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try it anyways, we'll switch it and see if that makes it run better. Try that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay.
chugging just pouring fuel everywhere in there. She's just soaked. She's gross. Dumping fuel. So I had to pull the car back off and figure out what power valve was supposed to be in there. We'll order one on. Starter's changed. It's cranking. It's running. But I still need a power valve. I'm pretty sure that's why it's running so bad. If I need a power valve, then it's uh, stuck valves in the motor. But <clears throat> clean the interior out. Give it a bit. Just needs this part of the seat. All the foam's there, though. A little bit missing, but yeah, look at this thing. Just look at this inside. Floor mats coming around. Door panels look good. Dash mat looks great, other than them two cracks. Yeah. And we got the lights working. Signals. The only thing that doesn't work. Oh, the wipers just. Okay. They weren't on, I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't have dash lights. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. A piece of the switch is coming out. But I got headlights. I got no bright indicator though. But yeah, I got all the lights working other than the dash ones. But all the signals worked, park landfill worked. Yeah. The radio works. This is kind of neat. You seeing that? Yeah. That's right. Might have herself a non-smoker. Oh, I wonder if the cigarette lighter works. Wow, <laughs> that was a dumb way to test it. Definitely works. Sweet, we got 12 volt. I branded myself with it. Nice. Couldn't feel the heat till it was right there. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> Don't know if I ever had that. Oh, what the heck is that? Might have the previous owner's name on this. Oh, weird. Okay, cool, I'll cover up the name. That's pretty neat. Television sales and service. February 26, 1971. No volume, is that what it says? Low volume? So they took their TV in repair. Because the speakers were no good. 
Interesting. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I'm just going to put that in the, in the ashtray. Put that in there and leave it there. I can stay with it. It's been with it since, well, since the truck was one year old. But yeah, look at these, bu I love the buckles in this truck. And they're half, like my Dodges. Yeah, it's, it's a nice truck. Oh yeah, I forgot the coolest part. I was under there checking stuff out. And, uh, like, everything I own is a manual, pretty much. Other than, yeah, there's, there's a couple autos in there. But hardly anything has a working park brake. And, uh, I looked at how nice the cables were on this, and I lubed them up today and pulled on them. Oh, well, I didn't even, I pulled on them first, and they moved. They were free. The rear ones. And then this one I came and shot some juice in. This is Canada. Like they're on. And then released. It's like, it, it has an actual working first break. That is unbelievable. And, I didn't do anything. We just filled the master up. It was dry. And it's like, got like, full on like, brakes. And a part of like, how unbelievable is that? I, I didn't touch anything. Well, actually I did. The rear, right rear brake was seized up when I bought the truck. It drug going on the trailer. The guy drug it out from behind the shop with his tractor and it drug the whole way. And then, yeah, I loosened the adjuster off. It was free and it, it actually spun loose. And then that brake came loose. And yeah, I haven't touched anything else. That's incredible. Maybe the only truck in the fleet. Well, the tow truck has a working park brake, but that's because it's on the back of the transmission. This has actual, like, they just go to the rear drums. Full on cables are working, like, look at that. I'll show how nice those cables are. Yeah, you can't really see. But, yeah. Incredible. So that'll probably do it for this video. Um, oh, I gotta change the mirrors too. That'll be in the next one. Next one will be change the mirrors, clean the fuel tank, rebuild the carburetor, change the shocks, get it driving. And yeah, all the lights are working. Yeah, she, uh, she passed safety, no problem. Well, with a set of tires, of course. I don't know if anybody's gonna, I don't know. These are split rims. <sighs> I'm gonna have to put rims on this truck. Dang. I was hoping, really hoping just to leave these. Just put new tires on them and leave it with its original hubcaps even, but. I guess not. I guess not. Yeah. Hopefully I got... Oh yeah, the oil looks... Looks perfectly clean. Didn't black and ran it for a bit today, so... Yeah. Hopefully we can get that engine running right. But I'm sure it's just that power valve. So I gotta pop that out tonight. Um yeah.
try and get a hold of one tomorrow. So, yeah, anyway, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching. More to come on the uh, 1970 Ford. Oh! Actually, there is another thing I forgot to show. That. It actually has the build sheet. Pretty incredible. Where's the engine one? Engine zero, zero three, zero three zero four A. Is that all to it or is something else worn off? It's so brittle. The springs basically wore through. Yeah. Cool still to have that. It's mostly legible. Yeah, I'm going to try on the green power wagon I used vinegar and baking soda to clean the fuel tank in that truck. And it worked great. I'm running that. It's been running off that tank the whole time. So I'm going to try that on this truck. And hopefully it works just as good. Yeah. We'll be another one revived and back on the road. Yeah. Please like, share, and subscribe. Help a guy out. I just pulled the power valve out to see what I needed to get and get the number off of it. It was gross. Cleaned it all up. And uh, I'm just going to try it again. I'm going to order a new one. but I got a carb rebuild kit coming too, but it won't be here for a while, so... I was going to throw this back in, and I found another vacuum leak on the back here. So, we'll see. Throw it back together. Try it again. Okay. I've got the carb back on. Power valve cleaned. Let's give it a whirl. I just have her. It's still angry. It's got some. It's got some sticky valves or something. <clears throat> she almost pulled it off covers, I guess. But yeah, that might have fixed the power valve. I didn't fill the garage with smoke. Like, actually. Not barely at all. So, it's gonna do it for tonight. This is the fuel filter from it. Kind of cool canister. Just gotta clean that out. Got a new one for it. Pump was working. 
clean the tank, and that'll be in the next video. Yeah, thanks for watching.